Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya. And today is Saturday, so that is our fictional book review for 2022. Happy New Year. Hope your first week has gotten off to a great start for the new year. Hope you are pumped and excited like I am. Ooh. I don't know why I'm hyper today, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, um, I wore my Hogwarts shirt, shirt because... Um, I don't know if you have HBO Max or not, but they had the reunion on there where they bring all the cast back and they speak about their experiences during the filming of the show. I really enjoyed it. It was really sweet and touching and kind of gives you a behind the scene look at what went on. And I know that's not what I'm talking about today as far as the Hogwarts books or, you know, J.K. Rowling's um, Harry Potter series, but it's a book. That turned into a movie, and so it falls under this day. So, <laughs> but I just check it out. It was it was really nice, and it's interesting to hear those stories, and especially for the children that were on there. They started when they were kids, like they were like eight or nine, something like that, all the way up until they were grown in their teenage years. So it's a a unique experience for them, you know, as far as having to go through that and all the people, all the lives and things that were touched by them because of it. And they were children, but they had some manifestation going on in there, okay? Like the girl who played Hermione, she knew she was going to play Hermione. But I don't want to get into all of that because I don't want to give away any secrets or tell you or spoilers or anything like that. So just check it out. It was, it was worth it. But today we're going to talk about a book called The House. <laughs> wrong side <laughs> okay so the house was written by Raylan I'm sorry I should have had this still up um, Raylan Drake um, for narrator it just says intuitive so I don't know that must be the company that did it but it was an hour long and with this being a holiday time and then coming into New Year's and just a lot going on it was a very short read for one hour and it was a good book it was so the story is about these kids that come across this haunted house so in this little town they have this haunted house and it's basically used as like a rite of passage so the, you get the the um, seniors will challenge you know the juniors or sophomores to go spend an hour in this house and the house is supposed to be haunted and so you find out that the house really isn't haunted. <laughs> the lady who owns the house is the one doing all the haunting. And so she's older now and she can't really do it anymore. She's having a hard time. So it kind of reminded me of a Scooby-Doo episode. <laughs> like for real, it reminded me of a Scooby-Doo episode. And how the kids had to figure out who did it and why. <laughs> like, you know, they were like, I see strings. Did you see the strings? Why are these strings? It was kind of like that thing. And you had Thelma and then there was the other two guys. I don't know. I guess they would be. What was it? I don't even remember the characters' names on Scooby-Doo. Other than Scooby, Shaggy, and Thelma. So I guess one of the guys would be Shaggy and the other guy would be the blind-haired one. I don't remember his name. Anyway, I divert. Anyway, <laughs> I digress, I should say. Um, it kind of reminded me of Scooby-Doo listening to it. So that was a bit of nostalgia for me from watching it when I was a kid. But again, it was only an hour long. And the way it ties into this is, is that the lady who was doing the house haunting, she had a very good reason for doing the ha hauntings um, of the house. Okay, so she was getting older though and couldn't necessarily continue on and she was wanting a different way of going about doing it and it was manifested with these children figuring out what happened how the house was haunted and who was doing it and coming to her and then they provided a new solution for her so that's the manifesting piece in here is this lady she did she haunted this house scared these kids scared the bejesus out of these kids and the next day she was saying that her knees were hurting because she's older, she can't keep doing this, but she doesn't want to stop doing it because of she had a very good reason for it. And the children find out who she is, they figure it out, they go solve the mystery. Scooby dooby doo. Um, they solve the mystery, they meet her up with her, she tells them why she did it, and she tells them that, you know, she doesn't think she's gonna be able to do it any longer. And the kids are like, Well, hold on, we got you. So they go back, they do some rigging of their own, come back and help her out by giving it all digitized on the phone. And then they send the people who the the seniors that, you know, um 
that gave them basically the go sit in this house. Can't think of what it was called now. But <laughs> the ones who made them go to the house or dared them to go to the house, they dared them back to go to the house so that the lady can test out all her new tricks and gadgets on them, <laughs> the unsuspecting victims. <laughs> so it was a really cute story. And like I said, it did remind me a lot of Scooby-Doo. So just check it out. Um, again, I listened to these audios through the Libby app, which is provided by Overdrive. Because for the longest time, I was saying OneDrive. It's Overdrive. <laughs> so that's how I listen to the audiobooks for free. The links are below. You use your library card, so just check it out. No, I'm not a sponsor for it. It's just something I do that I share with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you go check it out. Like I said, it was a really cute story. Only an hour long. Um, actually, I think it was like an hour and a half. I think it was an hour and a half. But go check it out. Listen to it. It's worth it. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.